Move, bitch. Mm. What, am I saying bitch? No, -uh, you're fine. Uh oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome Move, to bitch. another episode of The Corporate Mouth. They're probably like, who is this BBW? <laughs> it is me. Now. Y'all finally get to see me. Before we get started, Jamil had a prior engagement tonight, so he could not be here, but our my fill-in co-host today is my best friend, my love, <laughs> Katie I'm the one, Sinclair. I don't know what he be talking about on them podcasts. <laughs> You know, oh, this you know, is Teddy. He's filled in today. So. Well, you know, I, I want to. I think I'm gonna stop at going by Charles. Okay. I think I am. <laughs> you know, my mama named me that. Well, actually, she named me Sir Charles. I'm That's sure a hidden did. secret that nobody I'm, don't I'm know. Sure. I believe that. <laughs> okay. So t today, this is this is um, you know, Charles is my best friend. So he's filling in for Tramiel tonight. So tell everybody a little bit about yourself. You know, before we get started, I kind of know who you are. Okay. Um. Hello world. My name's Charles. I like long walks on the beach. Um, big dicks. I lied about that because you know I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> but um I mean shit, it ain't to know about me. I'm boring. As you are See, working on a book, though. I like, am working on a book. Can we talk about the book for a second before we get into the topic? Today? Oh, okay. What do you want to know about the book? Well, my thing is, what what is the book about? Okay, it's about my fucked up love life. Yeah. Perfect. Well, we're, we're getting into that in a second. I know. I thought about that when you told me that. <laughs> uh -huh. I was like, open up the heavens of the gates. Hey. I mean, the gates of heavens and all of that jazz. What's this? Oh, uh, oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, sister. <laughs> go about the book. Oh, but it's 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 called Single. Sometimes it's not good loving everybody, because it's not. Um, and basically, it's just talking about my love life, my fucked up love life. Um, I've dated a lot. And I felt some type of way when uh, Tremel said on oh, the last one, he was like, I only dated one person because I don't want to be one of the people. And I was like, oh my God, I'm one of those people. <laughs> 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 because I am. Because, I mean, but, I mean, it's. It's no secret in, in my friend circle that I go to therapy. No <laughs> I am an advocate of therapy because I feel like... Jermaine, I'm talking to you. Oh, you didn't want to say, <laughs> I'm going to have to come over. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Oh, yeah, you come over. So, would the book be, is it like different chapters of the book? tell life? me to talk about my goddamn self? <laughs> and I was, then... <laughs> I was asking, like, how is it, you know, what, what's, what's going on here? I'm trying to be, you know, mindful to your time. But go ahead. <laughs> no, no, okay. Side note, he was supposed to get over here. <laughs> Don't do that, cause Jamel. He, he, to... he was supposed to get over here. Y'all know I'm bad with time. Ago. I'm bad with time. <laughs> but um, my book is 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 broken up into essays because. I couldn't figure out how to break it down into chapters. I ain't even gonna lie to you. The essays are singled out to each person that I have dated. So is it like a stage you were in your life or just like, or just them? Them. Like, okay. Because, um, and it's, I've dated, I've dated more than seven guys, but less than 100. And <laughs> what? I didn't sleep with all of <laughs> I did not. No. Let me tell you. Yeah, I did. Mm. Although this old broom still sweeps. <laughs> <laughs> I no, like, I ain't I ain't out in the streets like that. It ain't that many. So but is it, it coming out soon or you know, because you know we've been asking about this book for I don't know how long, so You know, in a perfect world it would be coming out soon. It really would. <laughs> but I've had some trauma last year on one of the guys that's in the book. So that's, I'm trying to figure out how to tie that into the book. Because I had somebody that died. We got, we don't got enough time to get into that today. Glory to God. <laughs> we do not, but this is true. I I've read a few chapters of the book, so I, I don't have chapters, God damn it. It's a... It's a couple. They different niggas. So with that being said, yeah. every nigga I done read was different. It was interesting to read. Trust me. So when it comes out, <laughs> we'll let y'all know more. But I think y'all be seeing more of him later. But um, yeah, this is my best friend. So we're, we're, I guess he's filling in for Tramiel tonight. For those of you that are joining us, so we're just going to go ahead and get into the, the topic. topic. Hey. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so, the topic of today is why are so many of us single, but everybody's looking for love? Like, I'm confused. Like, well, I don't know. Most of these folks out here don't want relationships. Everybody wants to be in a relationship, but everybody don't want to put in the time to build a relationship. Speak on it. Preach on it. People just want to fuck, and that's it. But why go to the... Because I've, I've dated people that will have the will sit here, excuse me, and tell me that they want to be in a relationship, mm -hmm. but all they want to do is fuck all day. So, what about... Because they don't trick me. Because you got the ones... So, what do you do for the ones that, that trick you? Like, hey, I just want to be with you. And that annoys you. me so bad. That's and why then all you want to do is have sex and go run the street. That's why I can't stand these knuckle-dragging-ass niggas. Because... All they do is lie. A man will tell you anything to get in your draws. Definitely. I've learned that the hard way. Well, all you I've do is said <laughs> some things to, to, to sleep with somebody. I don't know if you remember this. I'm about to tell all of my goddamn business. But you remember back when I was trying to make that boy jealous. I who a name I won't uh -huh. say. And it was a guy. I know Mike remember this because Mike the one who brought this shit up. But he was like, he was he was into the church. And I was like, yeah. I do remember that. I was like, yeah, I, I go to church and uh, I download the Bible app. And he was talking about something. I'm just like, oh yeah, uh, Corinthians eleven eleven, and thou shalt not steal. And I'm sick of you. Send me them. But... He sent me random Bible verses. <laughs> Talking, it is so funny. Go ahead. That is so true. People have forgotten the essence of a relationship, and I, I really believe that people don't know how to be in relationships. But then people don't that's, know I themselves. That. That's though. my brother Kodak. He's, I'm, I'm, I'm with that. That's yeah, exactly. People don't know themselves though, and it's like if you don't know who you are as a person, how can you get in a relationship? And and better another person. Well, you don't even know who you are as a person. But a lot of people don't love themselves, though. True enough. But have you like like okay? Here's the thing. Well, you got those people to be like, well, I can't be in a relationship right now because I'm trying to work on myself. Mm. I feel like those people. I feel like that's you could do that to a certain extent. I feel like how because my thing is like because I feel like if you get in a relationship with somebody, you're, nobody's gonna enter a relationship perfect. So true. for you to sit we there and tell baggage. somebody that I don't want to be in a relationship to I'm where I need to be. And I understand that sometimes, but if you got somebody that's like willing to work with you and be mm -hmm. like, hey, we can grow together, I don't see why you don't just enter that and y'all work together. But there's a difference from growing know. together and being a bomb. True enough. You got a lot of people that are bombs, but then they use the whole thing. But I don't think a bomb would use that terminology. Oh, please. I have. Do they? Let's not forget the sous chef. Okay, that's different. <laughs> Let's not he had dreams. Child, he had dick. That's all they had. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> but, and then I think a lot of people use sex for relationships, though. True. Because, you know, a lot of people equate the pleasure they can give a person with love. And that's not, that's not love. True enough. And if you want to just have sex with me, just tell me. Because I may just want to fuck, too. You want to fuck all the time. That's true. But with that being said, don't don't bait me with a relationship. If you just want to fuck, just tell me that. Chances are I might just want to fuck too. But don't tell me that you want to be in a relationship and I know that's not what you want to be. And if you just want to fuck, just say that. Because like, I could be out here doing my own goddamn thing. But then in the, in the reality of things, if a person really will come to you and say, look, I just want to fuck. Would you really? No. I'm asking the wrong yeah, person. Yeah, you asking the wrong I'm person. I'm asking the wrong person. I'm going to say bitch If when? a person come to me and just be like, <laughs> I really want to fuck, then I'll be like, oh, you don't want to get to know me? <laughs> you know, I got issues. How now, brown cow? <laughs> you know Some days, you may be like, yeah. Yeah, if the moon set the certain way. You I like, know. Yeah, Find but... an evil by moonlight. Because, <laughs> baby, <laughs> Jesus takes the will. Right. So that, do you think that even this conversation that we're having right now, do mm -hmm. you think that's probably why we're all single? Because we all got some type of motherfucker that's just lying in our ears or we just not ready in our own heads. Like, why you think everybody... Because I'm looking at... Even like when I'm looking at here, I'm looking mm -hmm. at a lot of people, even the ones that's tuned in right now, I'm looking they go, some of these people post these things every day. Like, I'm single, looking for Bay, wish Bay was here. And I'm thinking like, bitch, every, we're all attractive, but we're all single. Uh -huh. What's the problem? I'm confused on what's happening here. We are all attractive in whose eyes? Because uh, you got... Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be careful with that, that attraction word. Now, because, now. 
A lot of them have been hurt by ones they gave the, this is true. That's why I'm writing a book about it. Oh, yeah. Because when I say, I set some shit on fire. I'm going to be a yes one time. I set some shit on fire. It's in the book. It is. It's in the book. It's in the book. It's in the book. But yeah, I think that's what, and I, I agree with that, Kodak. I think a lot of people are, is, that's the problem with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Everybody's been hurt so many times. And I, as a person that's been, oh, Ooh, bitch. Ooh, I'm sorry. So mean to my niece. <laughs> so, um, a lot, I think that's the problem. I think a lot of people have been hurt. Like mm -hmm. me, and from, you know, speaking from been there, done that type of deal. Hey, Red. Um, I feel like that hurt shit is an excuse. Yeah, though. it's an excuse. an excuse. I feel like, and I've been, because I've been you gotta there. You got to learn how to grow from You got to learn to get past yeah. that. And you can't keep holding people responsible for what somebody else done. Yeah, it may look like a duck, talk like a duck, but it could be a cow. That makes absolutely they no go, sense. Boom. <laughs> that makes absolutely boom. no sense. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I've dealt with two guys that act exactly the same, but we're not the same. They're, they're, I guess it's because I, uh, let me see. I, I yeah, go and get it out. Like let me see. Speak okay. to the class. That's what y'all, you call wait. your um, people okay, right wait. the class. Okay, wait. <laughs> I think it's like, they. it looked the same. Oh, somebody but, just said, hey. 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 But I think it's. You know, I'm not used to people speaking to me. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not. I think it's because, I really think it's because. Because you carry that hurt with you, mm -hmm. I think it's because when you see the smallest sign of it, You're you right. immediately shut up and shut down and shut in. And see, that's exactly I'm the what I do. I'm completely opposite. I'm not. I, sh I shut down. As soon as I see people like, uh-oh, I seen this before. Red flag, red flag. That's and me. see, you know, I'm the complete opposite from me. And you've seen this. True. I be like... Oh, you, you're damaged. I need to. I need to. I need, to, I need to fix you. <laughs> I need to. You know, I am a. You handle. You know, I have a Jesus but you, complex but about myself. But you handle myself, things a lot better than I've seen most people handle it. But when you are down and out, <laughs> you are down and out, and that is something I cannot deal with. But you know, I'm I, not I feel things, you like that. I think that, and that's, with me, I feel emotions intensely. And I have to learn how to dial that stuff down. I have to learn how to. Reading you. I have to learn how, who me. Yeah. Uh -huh. He runs. The, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know if he's gonna let that pass or not. I know, right? She get me. But I, I, like I said, I, I just feel things intensely, and you that's do. my problem. And I have to learn how to kind of channel some stuff. That's why if if people see me with a rubber band and I'm going like this. That means my anxiety is in full effect, and I'm ready to kill somebody. Huh. <laughs> <Nobody>. <laughs> but back to the topic. But do you think that's why everybody is? You think does everybody deal with those type of emotions, or why they, why everybody's single? Because I'm I'm confused why I think everybody single. needs therapy. And I want to get. I really want to enforce that in I the black that. community that. I want to say the black community. Yeah, most of them black community. Cause them mm -hmm. white gays. Let me tell you about them white gays. And if you're a white gay and you are watching this, <laughs> speak to your black brothers. Okay, hello. Because we do not seek help. We do this thing where wow. we we read. No, I'm saying y'all read because I don't do all of that gay ass shit. We don't do that. Let me tell you. I ain't got no, I ain't got a problem hitting the bitch in the fucking pussy, kicking you in the cooter. Like I have no issue with that whatsoever. <laughs> I got anger issues, <laughs> but my thing is I'll push it aside, though, y'all. It's all about people are so hurt and people are so damaged from Denise the. Says, therapy has saved. Therapy has saved so many lives. That is true. And that is saved, true. Therapy saved, saved me. People in her life. In yeah, her therapy life. has saved me because I was down a, a, a dark path. And you, and got, yeah, you I've know, been there. You know, I had a, a nervous breakdown. Yes, <laughs> I've had so much stuff happen, and therapy saved my life. But and I'm person who told me to go therapy with my damn twin sister. But she, she's a smart cookie. She is. But um, shouts out to Charlene. You keep fucking up my train of thought. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm ghetto. Okay, as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously though, y'all, um, the black gays, I really want y'all to go get therapy, and because this hurt y'all. Period. Not even this thing. Even the gay complex. It's the gay. The I thought black. we were talking to. Th I thought we were talking to the, the, the L homosexuals. The LGBT community. The we LGBT. Are. But I, it's more. We have, the straights are on there too. Oh, I forgot you have a like uh -huh, this whole. I'm broad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause me, huh? Yeah. You straighties out there, y'all go ahead. Look, 
<laughs> Hit a bitch <laughs> up. <laughs> See, I don't even gonna say that. You were thinking had, it. I ain't had no drinks yet. Yeah. But yeah, get therapy. Yeah, most people jobs. Um, black, black man, period. period. Exactly. Excuse me. No, exactly. Black man, period. The thing is, I me? feel like why the women don't even need to go? Because I feel like there's such a toxic, a toxic max masculinity that causes black men to act the way they act. That annoys me so bad. So straight or gay, just men, just black men, just period. black men, period. Okay. I don't know. I don't, I don't you don't think so? I don't know. I feel like that. You can't even. My niece. Men right. can't Y'all even. Black men can't even <laughs> get in touch with their. You know she fucking crazy. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Men can't get can't even do anything remotely outside of being masculine. Well, I can't even say being masculine, but let's say if you want to cross your leg. You can't even feel comfortable crossing your leg without somebody saying you a punk, you a sissy. I'm very comfortable. You this, you, you a punk, you a sissy. I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> but people can't do these things without without someone judging them, and I feel like that gets into the that black man. But can that, we blame oh, it on that exactly blood. Kodak? That's what I'm saying. Can we just blame it on just men? Like I don't think white people go through this. Yeah. I don't. I think it's the I think the race the African American race the African American race need to go to therapy because some of these women are just mad like they're very angry I don't understand why what gets so me mad. about women is I think that what and you everybody know and this is so Danita says our topic. black men have been taught that it's uh oh it's going away <laughs> our black men has been taught that it's not okay to this express their feelings yeah. without men okay yeah. But this is my thing. Eric with, says, who cares what people can say? I don't understand. That's easier said than done. It though. is, though. That's I agree with that, done. Eric. But like, yeah, I, I live by that done. now. But it took me a <laughs> long time. Who? White men are crazy. White like, men are crazy. What? But let me tell you, they pay. And they, they, they fun, <laughs> though. Like, I love white people. Well, you know, let me stop. Because let me tell you, I work I hope, um, at a... a, a Deborah ain't on here. I work at a nice job. They employ the white people, and I don't. What do you say? A man that's emotional <laughs> as a, a a man that's emotional is a, is a woman. That's not true. Ooh. That's not true. <laughs> that is not true. And that's You're trying the to shake the table. That's the problem. That's the problem that exists with the African American. But yeah, that that type now. of thing is that that's type the of thing is what's the that's problem? That's the issue that we're having right now. See, and that's gay ass straight. It yeah. doesn't even matter. Oh, that was a straight man. I don't even fucking know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Goodness, Kodak. What do you disagree on? Oh, talk to the people. Talk yeah. Oh, you am I not supposed to? Little bit. No, go ahead. You let them know. <laughs> <laughs> you let them know. Lord, because you didn't turn this to a soap opera, and we ain't got that. You have to be pressed for time. I to watch time with you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you got to be. You got an early morning appointment, and my ass is. I'm just drunk. That's it. Lord, you know what? One day, you know, if you go to therapy, you will see why you drink the way I you drink. I actually went to, went to therapy. I, I did one. I had one session, and it was so liberating. Okay. I felt so great. A man that's a oh, okay. He see, so we on the same page. We see each other because that, I, I disagree with that. You agree with the man? That's and, my date for tomorrow too. Oh, my is brother. it? Mm, oh, I thought you meant date like date. Mm-mm. Uh, uh-uh, no, that's a fuck. You know, See, I, you know how I say I don't. If I say date, so you know, you just say like, oh, I got a date, and they'll yeah. say I got a date. Like, uh-huh. uh-uh. if you aren't will, uh, uh-uh, I want to read that. I do too. <laughs> if you aren't willing to understand because you are comfortable in your emotions, you will never understand. See more, <laughs> understand. <laughs> That's what he says. So, what you got to say to that? Oh, am I? Am I blocking the camera? You are. I've been blocking the camera the whole time. Ooh, <laughs> My bad. We didn't do a sound check or nothing first. My bad. Okay. I look so fucking Ooh, fat. they having a conversation now. Red okay. said, what's up? I need, ooh, Now it's getting juicy over here in the yeah. comment section. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all talking about? <laughs> y'all checking each other. Like, bitch, what that mean? <laughs> oh. Yeah, because I need to know. I'm just confused why. That's my this question I'm posing. Just why is everybody single? Because I'm confused. On why everybody knows, like you know, everybody here like Charles. Y'all got the answers. Y'all want therapy and all this stuff, but everybody. Says, I feel like he ain't got no man. I feel like because he got all the answers, but she still ain't got no man. So I'm trying to figure you out don't what, know what I have. Oh, you ain't got no. You ain't definitely <laughs> ain't got no man, and I don't know. <laughs> so let's get that straight. 
So, that's Brian what you guys, Kelly I'm says, single, what's and the if word? anybody wants to, um, let me tell you what I'm good at. I'm good at... Quentin, first of all, they... How you gonna cut me off while I was trying to I just to wanna, cause he, he was talking about he ain't single. Cause you found your man in the Netherlands, and bitch, I might go there too and find me one. <laughs> Apparently that's where they at. Just saying. what do he say? Yeah, Every tell you, you gotta get your white man. Who? They, I'm telling you, white men fall in love with you. What they do is they, they take you to meet their mama. They fall in love. So they I'm single too. Uh -huh. <laughs> they build homes with you, and not not metaphorically. Like mm -hmm. they build a home with you. Like they be like, oh, let's go look at the outline. Um, Y'all get families and and get these kids. White people are the blueprint of what black people. <laughs> I should be saying Okay, this. we in the middle of an election. You said that after Stacey Abrams was in there. Wait a minute. Right. We don't scratch that from the table. No, you don't. But seriously, though, y'all got to look at these white boys. Because, honestly, when you look at it, and I hate to say that, and that's, wait, been, wait. that's been my biggest problem. When you look at the, the ratio of blacks in relationships and long-term relationships True. and whites in long-term relationships, you see, you see, there's an inequity in that. There's an inequity in lesbian relationships. Yeah, let me tell Them you about that. Them bitches get into a motherfucking <laughs> relationship in ten minutes, moved in, married, and got six kids. I don't know how the lesbians do it, but bitch, I need to know. It's what power in that pee. It's power in the pussy. I'm I was saying. gonna say period blood because you know when you put that period <gasps> blood in that spaghetti, that's why I don't eat that about spaghetti. <laughs> let me tell you, baby. <laughs> that's that voodoo. <laughs> OMG! Uh uh, you won't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Danita ain't single. But when I was a baby, okay, shit. You two be reading this. Let's I talk about this, this relationship again. stuff because I'm not interested in to know why after I made that comment. Why is it that whites have these long term relationships and you know black gays? Don't. And when I mean I whites, I'm talking about gays, y'all. Like I can't, I can't speak on um, heterosexual. I think honestly, with the I heterosexual relationship and um, same homosexual relationships, I think it's pretty much the same. I think it's when you're dealing with African Americans, mm -hmm. it's pretty much everybody's looking for the next come up, the next clout, the you next. Think so? I think so. Because I'm not you. See, your personality is completely different. I need you to pull yourself out of this for a minute. We're going to get into this in a second. Oh, please. But most people, <laughs> you know, most African-American people, what we do is I think everybody's looking for the next big thing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, oh, I don't want to, I want to be the next come up. I want to be That's the right, next. That's why, Kiki, it's this not. This is What's nice. That? This is it. <laughs> oh, I need to jump on this real quick. And it's just like. It's like we, right now, we're coming to you live right now from Atlanta. And everybody knows, I know y'all seen all the comments, Atlanta this, Atlanta that, Atlanta this. I get so fucking tired and of I'm that. I'm so sick of that. I get so tired of that. Because the thing is, everybody got this gripe about Atlanta. First off, everybody basing their judgments on people that's not even from Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta. I'm from right. East Atlanta. He, born like, and raised. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not from East Atlanta as in Decatur. I'm from Welcome to East Atlanta. Like, that's where I'm from. And, <laughs> uh, baby, let me tell you, go baby, get up and try to make my ass clap. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> and no sound would be but heard. Even that, then, but here's my, <laughs> my thing those people always got something to say about Atlanta. You are what you attract. So that's why you Kiki, dealing not the same. with all the hoes, you dealing with all the meth heads, you dealing with all that shit. You attracting that shit. So that says, well, you need to check your own personality and really why that's because I've been here 10 years. And I don't deal with that much of that. I'm not saying I ain't never dealt with none of it. I ain't never dealt with it. I've, I've come across it a, a time or two. But mm -hmm. not as often. Like, you know, I visited here before before I mm -hmm. moved here. I didn't come here like, boom, meth. <laughs> boom. Spread them wide open. I didn't I didn't have that experience. But you bitches that's coming here and just, <laughs> niggas came out there with they just ass hanging out. And they just came to me with meth in their pocket. Bitch, then you need to, uh, you need to what's identify what's, yeah. what's you. Because you the problem. It's you. It ain't. I, I've been here ten years and I'm meth free. Well, my mama always say with the energy saying, you put out, it, that, it, you, the energy you put out, you attracting that stuff. You put, put out. Yeah. You get what you put out. That's so, why with me, I'm always. If you have a problem here, this you this. Shit. Yeah, like with me, my relationships consisted of me trying to save these people that I was in relationships with. And I didn't realize that that was the energy that I was putting. I was putting out this Captain Save a Whole energy mm -hmm. because I wanted That's to, true. yeah, I wanted to, you know, I, I have this Jesus complex about myself. Like, you I want to 
save. I want to heal the world. <laughs> well, you know, look, the Bible says, <laughs> let's be very clear. What it say? The Bible said Jesus got hair like mine and skin like me. Baby, I am Jesus. <laughs> okay. See. <laughs> that was so blasphemous. It was. Uh, let me tell you. <laughs> but seriously, though. What the fuck I was talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you was talking about you. Oh yeah, I got this Jesus complex about there myself. And and I had to realize that I had to look within myself and I had to change. I had to check myself. I had to let me tell you, I had to go in the mirror and look at myself and do a lot of you ain't shit. You you know, you create these problems, you this, you that. I had to talk to myself like mm. that because nobody else was talking to me like that. Nobody else was like I mean, Carl, no, because you, you, what you do is, me? yes, what you do is, Carl, Carl's way of, of pointing something out is shaming you. Yes. Me? That's, yes. I'm a shamer? Yes, that's what you do. I'm a basher? Yes. Carl will let you cry on his shoulder. I will. And then say, I told you so. <laughs> I don't see nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Nobody don't want to hear that I in mean, that moment. <laughs> you do it to me, though. Do I? You do. Every time. I'm different Every now. time. You are not different. You I did am. not too long ago, but what? we're not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> did I really? So, whatever. Let me tell you. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you. I right? am constantly changing and evolving. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Kiki said, give it to you raw all the time. Oh, what? What is happening? I don't know. Kodak this said, I that kind of, that um, having a good stuff. heart is a gift and curse, but I had to stop that shit. That is true. Carl, that is true. you are too. What am I too? Too blunt at times. Oh, is this beat my ass today? What is going on? Y'all y'all on the wrong team today. That's what I'm, I'm on team Jesus. Apparently. Ain't nobody on team me. Team Soldiers for Christ. I'm not, I, I don't think I'm blunt. That's what I said. You still do that, Carl. That's it. See, you know what? It, didn't even really? Exactly, really. I don't think that I'm blunt. I think I just, I, I didn't tell my friends because, like, when my friends go through stuff, it's like, I would tell them, I would get them nut, little nut, light nudges to be like, hey, maybe you shouldn't do that. But when a person when is they in them, love like, okay, and they in this. that moment and it's like, love is blind. Eve said it. Love is blind. And it will take over your mind. It does. Let me when say it. It does. And, you know, and you know, in that moment, people don't want to hear that. Like, I, you know, you don't want to hear okay, me like, I'll work on shit. that. I'll work on saying, oh, give me your shoulder. And I'll tell you to tell you so once you get back in big spirit. But the tell you so is coming. Once you get back no, in big spirit. And no, no, there's I'm nothing fine. wrong with an I told you so. Like, I'm going to be clear about that. I don't wait. think there's nothing wrong with that. So my time. But it's, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll be I'll, laying I'll, on the ground. Be I'll like, why did you why did you leave me? And he'd be like, bitch, I told you. He'd be like, the fuck? Like, okay. I'll, like, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I take I'm good with constructive criticism, so I yeah. will take that. And okay. I will be that because I know I I know what I've been in those situations. I want nobody to tell me I told you so in that moment. So, mm -hmm. you know, I feel that. Okay. I'll let you know. Nika Ron. I feel like this shit. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> she I feel like this has become a therapy session for you. It has. Yeah, see? And I, it was, that was not part of this plan. It was part I was talking about why we single. We done. Now we figure why I'm single. <laughs> why are you single? I'm single because, shit, I've been in that complex where I've had that Captain Save a Whole complex myself, and it has landed me in the slammer <laughs> on blow up beds and on couches trying to deal with niggas that ain't shit. So now I'm in this situation now where it's just me, myself, and I. And if you with that shit, then you can come on. If not, and I go on my goddamn business. So, I ain't I'm worried about me. And that's it. And since I have some of you tuned in right now, I have a movie premiere that's premiering you better, tomorrow. You better plug that goddamn so, movie in. <laughs> the link will be in the bio in a little while. So, if you have, or you can go to my page, Carl Lavonzel, and you can go ahead and get purchase tickets. They're $7. Hold up, he is sale. great, um, Kodak. No, you know, I don't want it to look like a bash Carl thing. You're my best friend. It's, it's not I, that. It's, no it's really not that. <laughs> we know you love me. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, if y'all have time to come out tonight, it's in Lithonia. So, if y'all have, you, those of you that's in the Lithonia. Atlanta metro area. And it's at a church. It is at a church. It's Let a 3D church. I don't even know what that is because I don't go to church. But, I will be in the church tomorrow. When you and Prince Rashad were together, you was? Ooh, you want me to turn this live off so bad. This is why you are not on my show. <laughs> 
I need you, oh. Oh, Jesus. I don't like you right now. I'm going to get you in just a second. I'll wait till the camera go off. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, if y'all have time, it's going to be at 4.30. So, y'all might want to get to bed after this live. <laughs> so, y'all can make it. Because that's what I'm going to be doing. But, um, yes, I have that going on. But, I don't know. I just don't understand why everybody's single and why... It's so many of us. Because I think marriage is not, you know, held in the same light that it was held in mm -hmm. when our parents were raising us. This is kind of like nobody. Get, I, I haven't been invited. I get invited to a funeral every 10 minutes. But I have not been invited to a wedding. And it's like once every two or three years now. And they, they've made this big deal about same-sex marriages being passed. And I haven't been invited to a same-sex marriage yet. And then one of my friends, he's a big old hoe. He just got married, and I felt some motherfucking type of way. Like, bitch, your hoe ass ain't got married before me. You <laughs> said marriage is out of upset. the cards. I mean, so, I've been know. engaged three times. Has. Three times. We, I, we're not going to... I wanted to get into your engagements, but we do not have enough time. Oh, we do. Definitely do not have enough time to get we into do, that. We do, because... Because there's going to be so many questions, and we do not have time for that right now. I've been engaged three times. Yes, yes. And they all are dead. <laughs> I said we didn't have enough time for that. <laughs> we did not have time for that. To be continued, we're going to do a corporate mouth side note, because we need a whole hour-long show for he can tell y'all about the... The shit show that is this. <laughs> so I mean, yeah. it's a lot. Sometimes ain't good loving everybody. It's a it's lot the book is coming here. out. So, but y'all will see a lot more of him <laughs> later. So I just wanted to introduce y'all to my best friend because this is you know me and Tramiel's show. But y'all will see a lot of features from him in the upcoming show. So yeah. <laughs> Ooh, why I gotta shut up? Well, like, she said I want to hear this. <laughs> Look, we got things to do, okay? And we can't be here chatting with y'all all the time. We have a time frame to, to adhere to. Yeah, I mean, I really have been in case three times. We're going to take a couple of questions. Why y'all think that everybody's single? So we'll take a couple of questions, and then we're going to wrap it up since I got to shut up. You know, that's, that's what I gotta do. I mean, I think it was more of a um, colloquial telling you to shut up, like, shut up. Not like a. No, I felt. Not I like felt a really like shut a up. I Danita was. meant it. That's what she meant. <laughs> How can you experience love when most of us didn't see it growing up and most men are figuring out how to love as adults? Ooh. That was from Khalif. Duffy. See, but at what point do you break that chain, though? People need to know what their love languages are. That's first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. What? No, go ahead. Finish yourself. I'm going to get to her in a minute. Wait, because <laughs> he like carpet munching? Yeah, why would you read it? Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's Ebony. I'm going to get her ass in a minute. Go ahead. Oh, that's Antoine's cousin. Yes. Okay. Her. We're not even dealing with her right now. <laughs> But a lot of people don't know what the love language is. And I've learned that my love language is gifts. And I'm a little embarrassed to say what my second one is. No, no, no. You didn't say everything else. Yeah. Um, words of affirmation. <laughs> That's what my second one is. You have a primary and a, and a, uh, a secondary. And with that, is we talked about love languages before. We have. Yeah. And with that, it's like my problem was... I, because mine is gifts, and I like, I'm a gifter. If, he is. Like, I'm a, I'm a, if I fuck with you, you can be my friend, I've my got man. Many gifts. <laughs> my many sister, gifts. my brothers. If I see something, if I fuck with you, let's say if I see something at the store, and I'm like, oh, I think you make, this person may like this. He makes I'm going to grab pasta it. with some sausage yesterday. <laughs> Mom, just so y'all know. Well, and ahead. that's like, I'm a, I'm a gifter, and so I expected that Hold back. On, he replied, wait a minute, he said, you are expecting people to have it all together where most of us has only been adults for about eight to ten years. I think he I'm looking from a different perspective because I'm... That's true. I agree with that, though. I think that, I think that's a big thing. Which I don't... Because you think when our parents are growing up and our grandparents are growing up, it's kind of like a lot... You know, our grandparents are kind of like a lot of arrangements. They married quickly. It was in segregated times. Then when, our, 
when our parents grew up, it was kind of like, you know, we didn't have cell phones on social media. You had a, the cutest motherfucker you saw. You had to kind of swipe up right there and there. Now, I feel like with social media and all this internet dating and all this jacked and this POF and all this other shit that's out there and Facebook, let's not forget Facebook. People try to make excuses being Yeah, hoes. it's just, that's just you what You can't make an excuse exactly. for being hoes. Everybody's, I think everybody's eyes is like wide open trying to, trying to find the next big thing. That's just how I feel. And I think that's the problem, and nobody's really spending the time to learn how to love until you get to that age. Like, when you deal with, with heterosexuals, I think when they get about, you know, in their 35, mid-30s range is when they're looking to kind of settle down. Females is probably a little bit about 28-ish, you know, late 20s. When you're dealing with LGBT people, excluding lesbians, because... <laughs> We know y'all in a 10 minute That's room. That's the L. Yeah, the L. Yeah. No, that it's the L and the LGBT. Yeah, we just talking about the GBT. We ain't talking <laughs> about the L's. The L's, we already know y'all find love in a fucking hot second. Believe it. But we talking about, as far as the, hetero, the homosexual males, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's just like we they they everywhere. Like it's here, it's there. It's I just think that's like, an excuse. We are addicted to it. It could be. I just think there's an excuse. But people, people have this thing where. They have a lot of um No, we missed all these comments. Oh, I was wondering why the shit wasn't scrolling. Uh, I meant the stuff once I said I gotta stop. Antoine said, Hey, Deborah. Hey Antoine. Said, Deborah said love isn't love really now. Come like, on, Black people Power. Don't really have love. Everybody got they this are everybody has this thing where like, you know, everybody got all these preferences. You like what you like at the end of the day. True. But you know with like the no fats, no films. Um, I, I saw a you shirt. You can't be that I, mad at that though. I'm not mad at a person that that has a no fat no fam preference. But the thing is, you can't be screaming, "I'm single, nobody wants me." When you have that's true. When you have yeah, yeah that's my whole thing. With I that. was that person until I took all that shit down. You can be fat, fem, black, yellow. Like, or let white. me tell you, I, I don't have a problem. Point. And I used to be like, if you was feminine, I could not fuck with you. That's the East Atlanta. Angel. That yellow. <laughs> if you I could take you to the hood. So I, can't, you know. I can't take you. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think I could take y'all in public, bitch. And he passed. Yeah, him. if you was feminine, I couldn't. But it don't It don't bother me. I'm 35. It don't bother me now. Um, yeah, it really don't bother me. Hmm. Now, with that being said, hmm. there's a stipulation to it. There's a level of femininity. <laughs> There's a level of femininity that I just can't like. Like if you like, oh shit, I'm fucking all these comments up. Yeah, if you like, just like a, a yes, bitch, and not if like I can't get into that. Like I'm just like because I'm not the most masculine uh -huh. thing out there. But if, I like a few trannies. I do. You know, I'm into the trans man I am now. Too. Let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> uh, is there any trans men watching? Yeah, I'm like they winning. <laughs> As males, we are conditioned to not show love and affection. So if you have to consider childhood trauma, I said that. But that's what we talked about earlier. That, that's yeah. when therapy comes into that play. That comes into play. Yeah. That's okay. true. With, uh, I think that's the. Th I think when you're dealing with black gay males, I think that is the issue. The really the root of why that's we root we have so much it. sex, why we do so much party. No, y'all so much whores. That's why y'all have so much sex. No, I, I just think equate that goes, love with sex. That, could, that, that, do that goes back to childhood and trauma, like he said. I, I think that's what it's about. We all, I think all black gay men, we need to all go to therapy. We need a fucking, what you call them, we need a goddamn rally or some type of, inter, you know, some type of convention where we all go to and just sit there, we hug each other, not an orgy, <laughs> but something where we all can get together and kind of crowd each other's shoulders and get to the root of that. You but know, that's we the have thing. a lot of sex, we have a lot of goddamn broken relationships, we do a lot of fighting, we do a lot of that. But that's the thing, when you say cry on each other's shoulders, how... Gays are the most judgmental people out there. Oh, that's true. See, that and that's the one thing that bothers me with, with gay men. Trapped, yeah. Is that gay men are some of the most judgmental people. And what they'll you know, do is... Men, go, that's what I said, DeBoer. Okay. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. All black people need to go. <laughs> and with gay men, <laughs> they do this thing where they... When you hurt and when you down... I've noticed that gay men catalog your, when you down... Just to use it against you in the future. And that's to be the shit I can't rock with. But you know, like Antoine said, straight men are messy. Oh, and they're yes. whores. I've learned so that from being at them? the airport. So uh, with the, between the straight men and the gay men, like, what's going on? All black gay men for years 
You all told your abomination and y'all. See, I never experienced that because I come from a family of love. I did, yeah. <laughs> like now, that, 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 was on that note, I've I did, never I didn't, experienced that. I've never experienced yeah. that. So I've experienced more from that from like my peers mm-hmm. and people in the city than my family. My family's always accepted me for my gay ass. They didn't give a fuck. Yeah, like I don't. I I got a cousin. I had a few that didn't, but I got a cousin them, that's transgender. But, like I have the most. Accepting family that is out there, yeah. like it's. I mean, I didn't. I didn't experience. That's why I don't do gay kids. <laughs> I tried. It didn't work. I just don't. It just ain't for me because my mama loved me growing up, and I ain't no shot. That so you don't say that. You know how you say no shot? You just throw one. My mama loved me, and my dad loved me, and I don't. I that was just. That is just not for me. I did not have enough liquor. To do it. <laughs> I not. knew I should have brought the bottle to the table. <laughs> That's we the sure did. We love you, boo. That's Nikki. That's my boo. That's my cousin. Okay, see, yeah, your cousin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. they always, they yeah. always. But if anybody fuck with me, her beats the ass to beat their ass. So Let me tell like, you about. I, 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 that's that's how I know she was though. You know. Yeah, that's how Nikki was. was. Like, yeah, I know she was like. If I had anybody, if niggas, if any nigga fuck with me, I call Nikki. Because <laughs> I know Nikki would handle it. Okay. And if I'm she could handle it. You motherfucker said so, you my gay mama. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't do gay kids. <laughs> <laughs> and then my thing with the gay kids is like, and I just, just something I just never understood. You would, the, the, the gay parent is like 25. And the gay kid is oh like God. That is so 23. True. And I'm like, that's the problem with this gay community because it's like you have you they they just passing on mess to mess. These are your your big sisters and your brothers. These are not your mamas, and That's these are not your gay mamas and your gay daddies. Right. So she said, "Hey, mama, Antoine, see, look, this is the thing. This is a side note, y'all. So this is direct to Antoine. Antoine, look, I cook." He didn't Carl cook. chooses he did not, not to not give you the food. Disclose that information to me. And I give I Carl. Thought- like plates full of food. I you thought I had extra ribs and I ate them all. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that yeah. plate's gone. Yeah, but with them I gay kids, it. it's like I just mm-mm. If I get a gay child, if I ever decide to go down that path, I need one that's 18. Hold on, Juan, I, I see I you to tune in. Don't go to judging me and talk about this shit later. I just see you roll your ass in here. Don't come in here talking about my ass later. <laughs> We have mentors and peers of our age, so again, anyone can help you in life at any. Cause anyone can be in life at any age. So I'm not forget with y'all two. Not right now. I'm not. So yeah, you're right. Your mentor, your peer, that's your big sister. But you can't be my gay mama and be. I'm 35. Well, when I let me tell. Okay, I do this. When I was 20. There was a person that was interested in being was like, oh, I want to mold you. I want to do this. I want to do that, and be my gay mama. He was 22. <laughs> there's nothing that you can show me. That's true. I mean, I mean, you can. Sh- there's something you can show me, but as far as mold me and as far as guide me, you guide me as a big brother, big Y'all sister. You're not guiding me. About you're not guiding me as my as no Colson. damn. Hey, Colson. I don't know who that is. <laughs> you're not guiding me as a uh, not shady parent. Today. Or all of that shit. Like, you just, you just not got him. me. Quan, I got you later. <laughs> and that's what I think the problem is. is now, y'all see he doing all this talking. And he and he, told, he pressing me about time. Just so y'all know. Oh, uh, Don't worry about it. Yeah, now you don't look at the clock now. You press me. I got to be up in the morning. And look, he going in. You, you know I'm passionate about this gay Clearly. Because I feel like that's one of the issues with the with this gay community. Is that with this whole gay kid phenomenon thing? Is that they? It was about me and being single. Right. I know, right? Yes, you look, went somewhere look, else. Let me tell you, this is the thing. I was standing in my head. That's why I was talking real slow. Because I was like, "Shit, I don't got all you a fucking all topic. Off track. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason why motherfuckers are single is they need therapy. That's that's. So therapy we're gonna work. recap because this is we're we're, we're getting so we're gonna win a little over time. <laughs> So yeah, but, uh, but well, we've come to the conclusion based on your comments and based on, you know, the essays that's coming from this one. That <laughs> she said, "I like him." And, right. <laughs> everybody needs. They, everybody, we, we, there's a gay community and as a whole African American community, we need therapy. We need to stop holding on to the past. We need to, and then I think also as I may interject my own little and thing. Quit fucking your friend's man. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 
I think that's we need to shoot your shot. Stop seeing these people out in public and looking at them down. But you know, people are, are, are scared and, of rejection. Yeah, though. they are. That's but the rejection like, is part of life. And I feel like that comes with this 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 technology thing because you can easily go into somebody's DM and and DM. I know, right? <laughs> you can easily go into somebody's DM and shoot your shot and not be. Turn down, yeah. You think a rejection, in, yeah, yeah, in private, in private, versus you in, in in a public setting and doing it. And I think that rejection don't bother me because guess that's what? That's confidence that a lot of people don't have. Yeah, though. like Stop I haven't had a, to look. Yeah, I haven't had a problem with rejection, and that ain't <laughs> courting me. <laughs> you said, <"Who?" laughs> I mean, that's true though. It's true. It's, it's true. <laughs> Yeah. Stop being yeah. Stop it if you look thirsty. If you well, you like what you see. Go you, get that motherfucker. That whole thirsty thing annoys me. Need to go away with social media. Uh, yeah. Antoine know because baby he ain't got no problem. That's why he got a man now, and we all sitting over here. Antoine, you need to be sitting over here <laughs> and telling us how to get yeah. one. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, keep on <laughs> because uh, I mean, it's, I, I don't have a problem getting one. My problem is keeping one. Yes, and that's been my biggest issue True. because I have a I have a ticket ticket boom boom up here, and like I throw dishes, I throw I throw. I'm breaking dishes. Uh, let me tell you, I throw glass, I throw, and I had to learn how to stop doing it because I have not my been. mama was crazy. I and love mama. <laughs> I love you know I love how my mama. My mama is crazy. I remember one time my mama grabbed the vacuum cleaner. She was so mad. Um, and she grabbed a vacuum cleaner and she just slammed it into the wall. Like that's that's, oh, that's where you get that from. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. So I I like like what's your homeboy name? Yeah. I don't want to screw his name up. Who? The one who keep going back and forth with the K. Oh, that's the virus. Okay. But no, it said K. Khalif. Khalif the Delger. That's his name. Whatever. That's his like. Middle name or something. Oh, okay. But you so, call him Khalif. Call him Khalif. Okay. So what he said was about the trauma. Mm -hmm. That was my trauma, and I had to learn how to get over that. I had to learn how to get over expressing my emotions like that. I'm not a fighter. Like I mean, I fight, but as far as being in a relationship, I don't fist fight in a relationship because I feel like when you get to the point to fight in a relationship, then it's time for me to get a fight. I beat your ass. Yeah, see, that's just not me. Uh, I believe in, I'll cut you with my words. Like, I'm going to tell you, you ain't shit knife. and, and call y'all kind of stuff. Period. But I'll beat your ass and cut you with a knife. <laughs> that's good. But you know what? You can go to uh, DeKalb County I or Clayton County and, and see your long rap sheet and see that's why fine. you They're do that. They're all expunged. <laughs> you can't find it, but I know I've been there. Yeah, and that is true. You have to look deep within yourself to see why you keep attracting the wrong people. Then and that's what I said. You, but you know, that's what I said earlier. That's what I said earlier. It's the therapy. energy that you putting out there. You people don't realize the energy that they put out into I the put universe. Put out good energy, but until you start fucking me over, then bitch. Oh no, yeah. No, we talking about getting a man. I put out good energy. I can get a man easy. I can't keep him either. It, so what is that really good? It energy ain't my fault. That you put out. I it's give all this good sex. I cook dinners and shit. I do what I need to do, but they just won't fucking stay. Let me. Your dinner consists of ramen noodles. So you finna come for my dinner? Mashed potatoes. I cook now. And all this shit mixed I together. Why well, I don't cook as much because I have you in my life, so I don't need to cook. Oh, is that so? That's exactly why. <laughs> you better ask my son, and then my throws down because <laughs> okay. you ain't at, you at work. So uh, who else gonna cook? I got to. <laughs> so. But if shit, if I ain't got to cook and I come, like, it wouldn't be cooked the other night. But you had made noodles and that fucking sausage shit. I did not make noodles. You made penne. Penne. Exactly. <laughs> and I fucked that shit up so I had to cook chicken. <laughs> Cooking is only half. That is true. Oh, here he go. That's just the thing. People just got to look deep within themselves and, and learn to figure out where that hurt comes from. Yeah. Once so you figure out where that hurts thing. comes from, then... Yeah, you be able to process it. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. So basically, that's what we're coming to the conclusion mm -hmm. is that the reason why everybody's single is that we need to process our pain and process our our previous relationships better. But a lot of people therapy. don't know they are the problem. That's true. Also, learn that the connection does not equal love, and love does not equal longevity. Love isn't always. So he preaching tonight. You preaching tonight, man? Tell you what so you, you look like. Me, okay. Clearly, kill as fuck. 
Are you single? He, he, he oh, we, nobody knows. He keeps all that on the raps. <laughs> yeah, never know if he's single or not. Because I'm asking for myself. <laughs> Hashtag. Because <laughs> yeah. clearly, look. But we are clearly, y'all. We it's are gonna way work. Over time. It's gonna work between and you and I. We have things to do. And so, because this one, the main one, talking about timing is going, why going, you going. To fuck going. up my love connection. We're done at this point. You can inbox them later. But as of right now, we've come. Those are our our things. Our recap of why we feel like everybody's still single. We thank everyone for participating. This show has went on way longer than yeah. the post had been. So you know what? I just had just thought of that. Shoot the shot, yeah, and shoot the shot. <laughs> See, I was doing that. I just thought <laughs> of what. Now uh, let me tell y'all a funny story right before we uh, end this. I was dating, and I dated this guy back in uh, earlier this year. <laughs> you hurry up with the story. That motherfucker sent me a long <laughs> text message. Was like because I am a, I have control issues. Not control mm-hmm. issues like like a, a like abuse or nothing like that. But I like I like what I like, and I like certain things to be done certain ways and. When the kitchen is closed, the kitchen is closed. Like, I'm one of those kind of people. And she said, Big, you're not doing Ooh. nothing to keep the set. First of all, I am booked. <laughs> I got <laughs> shit to do. Yeah. First of all, this one's booking is before mine while he talking. <laughs> <laughs> he got to be a way earlier than I do. <laughs> oh, what He's an Aries. He know my Zodiac sign. Oh. Yeah, I'm an Aries. Or like the uh, these hood rats like to say Aries. But, um... <laughs> Could you tell yeah. the story? Yeah, so this motherfucker sent me, and I really enjoyed his company. But I guess he goes, because he he had issues. And it was one of those things I was trying to fix somebody. And he sent me this long text message to let me know that I was not shit. And I was like. Yeah, he did. It was very long. Whoa. <laughs> but you know what? That kind of, that that was a. Nobody never did that to me before. Because I'm like, <laughs> when I read it, I had a screenshot. This shit, and I said to him, I was like, what the fuck is what this? What does that mean? I'm like, I'm not, I'm not reading that. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> and, but the it was, I wanted to bring that up just to say that a lot of the times, we don't realize that we are the problem. And once you realize that you are the problem, then that's when you can honestly start working on it and fixing it. That's right. why I brought that um, story into this whole thing. Okay. See, I, I know how to do a little shimmy. You done shimmy for a whole hour. <laughs> and you know what's complaining about time. No, but that's because your motherfucking ass was supposed to come up here at <sighs> earlier. Here we go. Are you there? I see watch your mail was going off. Ooh. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. That's our time. And we will see y'all next week on another episode of The Corporate Mouth. Thank you. But, and on the, before I sign off, his thing tomorrow. My premiere is tomorrow. <laughs> I knew you were Tickets are seven dollars, <laughs> and no, I, I better see you raggedy no ass. I don't know. They cost the door. Ain't gonna be no more than about ten or fifteen dollars. Bring yeah. y'all raggedy asses out and come see that damn shit of y'all in Atlanta. Send Latonia, three D Church. I like a lot of attention, and I can't want set up for a man that oh. lets. He sound like this that's Kyra. Yeah, that sound like the one that, the text message that I got. Okay, <laughs> okay. I was like, oh. <laughs> Listen, if y'all got time, come out to Lithonia to the three D church. My we'll thing is, my you just ain't gonna be film. broke and trying to tell me what to do. You know. <laughs> That's what my thing was. He does not want to end his life. <laughs> but you know what? We're going to do a broke. segment. We're going to do a sidebar like... to the corporate mouth so we can get his mug. Because he got a lot to let out. Since we ain't got this book this year, we're going to have to get it out th- via. I had a lot book. going on last year. I was right. technically supposed to be through with the book we last year. It. But, you know, one of the guys in the book either. dropped dead. So I needed to, I need oh to God. grieve. You that. are so inappropriate. I am. <laughs> We love y'all so much for God, tuning I in. Don't make mistakes. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're, we're, and you know, I want to say thank y'all for being so nice to me. Yes, this is I my really best appreciate friend. that. Like I really appreciate y'all Teddy being nice Sinclair, to me. Teddy Sinclair. My know, name is Charles. His name is Charles. Like, thank you. I'm glad you've come to grips with that. I was trying to be nice. I know that's what you was doing. By that bullshit ass name, but I just did that because you know I, uh, I got people out there looking for me. Okay, you know what? So, <laughs> I have to bullshit. change the name because I'm like, we love y'all so much. <laughs> Thank y'all. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I've been posting that shit too. I know you hoes saw that too. So subscribe to that motherfucking shit. I'm trying to get this money. Out I review books street. for a living. Okay, once I most definitely will um, send you a copy. Oh, Danita does do that. 
I'll give you that. Yeah. Home girl. All right. Love All right, y'all. Bye. Bl